What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. Okay, so, as you probably already saw in the last preview, we already met Bill the the Poke Collector, or the Poke Master, or the Poke Maniac, or something. And, you know, we got to do a few things here and there. We got ourselves a Charmander, you know, named it Godzilla. We got ourselves a Bulbasaur, named it Dubasaur. You know, that kind of stuff. And, uh, I had a bit of a decision to make. And that was whether or not I should go there to battle Misty or go to Vermilion City and, you know, just train up just a little bit so I can be ready for Misty. Because remember, she is a little strong at this point right now. And I did make that decision. Yeah, we're going to Vermilion City. I know. Why? Again, we're going to be training up. So, what we're going to be doing right here is that now the door is open right here. Officer Jenny, she's going to be like, well, these poor people were robbed. We're positive that, you know, Team Rocket is uh, behind all the ter behind this terrible deed. Even our police force has trouble with the Rockets, which is pretty true right there. So, going in here, as you can see, it has been uh, ransacked. And talk to this lady right here. She's like, Team Rocket must be trying to, to dig their uh, way into no good. Love it how they emphasize the dig. And this guy right here is like, those miserable Rockets. Look at what they did here. They stole my TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. That cost me a bundle. It did. Hmm. I wonder what they stole. Pikachu, do you know what they stole? I'm pretty sure they stole something that, you know, helps them dig or something. So here's a Team Rocket member, and here he's like, Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't believe... You don't believe me? No. We're in a Team Rocket uniform, man. It's really hard to believe you. So here it is, guys. Another battle against a Team Rocket member. And yes, he comes out with a Machop. Level 17. Project Pig Hammer, here it is. Let's go with the Karate Chop right here. Battle of the Fighting Type Pokemon, and uh, that was a critical hit. Very good one right there. And he comes out with his own critical hit. Look at that. Every critical hit right here. Look at that. I've just noticed that. We can just go critical hit with Nunza. Look at that. Pig Hammer, level. Nope. Doesn't grow a level. Actually, off screen, I did. You know, I did train it a little bit. So, uh, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, well, let's go with Sparky, because this guy's got himself a drowsy. It's a psychic-type Pokemon. You don't want to mess with him. So, let's go right here with the Thunder Wave. That's right. We're going to paralyze you. We're going to make sure you don't attack us every so often. Here comes the Pound Attack. I'm going to go with the Double Team, because why not? Look at that. Try and hit me now. Try and hit me now. Doesn't work. Do it again with another Double Team. Oh, yeah. You, <laughs> you won't be able to hit me. Oh, crud. Okay, so I better start hitting before this guy beats me. There we go, Thundershock attack. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This guy here. Okay, so... I honestly thought this double team strategy was going to work, but I think I need one more double team to not get hit. And I was... Oh, wow, I was wrong. Dead wrong. This guy could hit me. Even in his sleep, and... Okay, that hypnosis did not work. Disabled no more. Okay, alright, let's go with that quick attack now. Alrighty, physical attack does do the job, and yes, you're not hitting me, so here we go again. <laughs> Guess who the new Koga in town is? That's right, it's me. Rocket De By Draven, I should say. That's right, that's right. Alrighty, okay. Okay, I'll return the TM that I stole. Draven recovered TM28. Alrighty, so I better get moving. Bye. Okay, so... Might as well go return that TM to 28. And let's see. I figured what's loss is loss. I decided to teach my Diglett how to dig without the TM. Okay. Then why in the heck did you complain? Wow. Never mind. These people right here. Okay, so... Let's move on right here. We're making our way to Vermilion City. Okay, so first thing is first. There's a place right here that I would like to check out. We are in the new route, and uh, oh, my Pokemon, yeah, got it. a few damage. Well, they got damaged quite a few, so might as well heal this guy up. Alrighty, so you can see you will be able to find some pretty cool Pokemon right here. One of them being Abra. 
And uh, we all know that Abra is the elusive Pokemon that, you know, we can't find or we can't get every single time right there. Alrighty. Okay, so that's not cool. That's a Rattata right there. Alrighty. Not that. So as you can see, I'm just trying to... Well, this is the last level right here. And, uh... Come on. Oh yeah, you can find a Jigglypuff here too. That is also true. Haha. <laughs> Not gonna capture you. I mean, I actually thought that you could capture Jigglypuff in the other area near Mount Moon, but that was so incorrect right there. So, I'm gonna do this one more time. And, uh, would you look at that? We found ourselves in Abra. Alrighty. Okay. So, this is gonna be a little difficult. Now, Abra is a very elusive Pokemon. I'm just gonna try it out right here because why not? Come on, stay in that Pokeball. We got him! Oh my god, we got him! Ha ha ha! Suck it! Oh yes! Okay, so here's a little bit of a revealing plan here, guys. I actually want to use Abra. It says here, it sleeps 18 hours a day. If it senses danger, it will teleport itself to safety even when it sleeps. Yeah, I want to use Abra for our team, and, uh, <laughs> alrighty. What should I name this guy? What should I name him? I'm not going to name him Spoons, because that's stupid. I'm going to name him this, because it's pretty cool. He's going to be the, the, he's going to be the guy. I'm going to name him Ultra. 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 Ultra Psycho. Ultra Psycho. Ultra Psycho. So I'm naming it. There it is. Ultra Psycho. Even though I knew, even though I misspelled it a little. So there it is, guys. We captured ourselves a new Pokemon, Ultra Psycho. Unfortunately, as you can see, we have a full team. So that brings us to this. This little house right here. This little hut. Okay. So as you can see. He's like, I run a daycare. Would you like me to raise one of your Pokemon for you? That is a huge yes, because there is one Pokemon right here that really needs the training, and I can't really switch him in and out every freaking time. So, let's go right ahead and, uh, well, put Hydra with this guy for just a little bit. We're gonna, we're gonna keep him in there until we get back to Cerulean City. Uh, it has five levels left before it evolves. Now, there is another thing that I want to do here. It's uh, something that I've been meaning to do for quite some time. And, uh, well, like I said, don't get used to the Pokemon that are still on my team because I will be switching them up eventually. Um, I'm gonna go get that like, Ultra Psy Psycho. Ultra Psycho. Alrighty, so let's go right here. And uh, go back to the Pokemon Center. And let's just, well, first is first, let's just heal our Pokemon. Oh, yeah. How, 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 how awesome is that, that we got ourselves a, we got ourselves a, a psychic Pokemon, a real good psychic Pokemon, my I add. And the cool thing about this is, we're actually going to see the, the trading, the, the evolution to it, because we're playing a 3DS, and I do have Pokemon Red and Blue. So, let's go to the PC. Here we go. And, well, let's get this guy out. Alrighty, so we only got one Pokemon to really worry about, and that's Ultra Psycho. Um, let's go ahead and check him out right now. Oh, wow, why did I teleport? Why? Why? Oh, we're just going to teleport back. That was cool. Okay, so we all know that it has teleport right here. So here it is. It's special is through the roof, its speed is pretty good, but its attack and defense, physical attack and defense is pretty bad right here, and its only attack is teleport, so, yeah, try winning with that, and, uh, well, none of the TMs right now will be able to help Ultra Psycho, well, except maybe one, but, it, again, its physical attacks will not be effective, so, what's the point, so we're gonna save that for a little bit later, just gonna be moving on. And uh, yeah, we're just going to be heading straight to Vermilion City, because why not? Alrighty, okay, so everything's good, we're feeling good, everything's 
just like awesome. We're going to Vermilion City. Gee, look at that. And yeah, you can capture Jigglypuff right there. If that's what you guys want, go ahead. Capture Jigglypuff right there. Now, we got a few doors right here going down here. Try go down here. This guy is like, I'm he's like, I'm on, on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty though. Oh wait. The road's closed. So we can't go through here. Might as well go through here because why not? Now if you talk to this little kid right here, he's like, hi, do you have a Q-bone? I want to trade it for a Ma Choke. If you guys don't remember, that Ma Choke evolves into a Ma Champ. Gives you a chance, uh, well it actually gives you one of the traded Pokemon that you need right here on uh, in Pokemon Yellow. So if you guys want a Ma Champ, that's the person to go to. And, uh, well, let's see, talk to this girl. People often lose things in that underground path, which, you know, I was trying to find, but didn't really do much. So, here we are in the real place. Now, we might as well, let's see, we might as well train my Ultra Psycho, because once it evolves into a Kadabra, I, I will be changing it, or I will be trading them and trading them back, so... You know, we can have Alakazam. Then our team will probably be a little bit complete right there. So here we go, taking on a bug catcher Weedle. Yeah, Ultra Psycho. Looking like a boss right now. But unfortunately, we're not going to be using him right now. So let's go straight with Pig Hammer. Won't get poisoned, right? Hopefully. There we go. Poison Scene doesn't do much. Karate Chop. For a critical hit. I bet you it's a critical hit, right? It's a critical hit. There's another poison sting attack. And oh god, whoa, oh god. We're poisoned, so it's a bit of a doozy right there. It was gonna happen eventually, but you know, I I do have I do have an antidotes and Ultra Psych grows to level eight. And uh coming out with that caterpie. So let's go with Ultra Psych again. We're gonna be training this Pokemon up so we can get him strong. Uh, Alright, let's go straight to Thrasher right here. Let's see, let's see. The tackle attack won't do you well, but this Mega Kick, or M Mega Punch I should say, will do you. Come on. Oh, come on. How does this Pokemon survive? Ugh, okay. Horn attack. Mm-hmm. There we go. Finish him off. Everybody's gaining points. Yes, we're going straight back to Ultra Cycle because I bet you anything's going to grow another level. So there we go. Weedle. Ultra Psycho. Why did I name him Ultra Psycho? You know, it was kind of, it was kind of like Ultra Instinct, Ultra, uh, Ultra Psycho. You know, that kind of stuff because technically, Kadabra or Al Abra is kind of like an Ultra Instinct Pokemon, in my opinion. I don't know. I'm weird like that guy. So leave me alone. So there it is, Thunder Shock, not for the win. No string of no string of shock. And uh alrighty. Okay, so there we go. Ultra Psycho grows to level 9, so this is gonna be a little easy. Just a little bit. And he's like, no, you're kidding. <laughs> Definitely not kidding right now. So might as well heal up one of our Pokemon right here. That's I think that was no, we still got one more. And uh Okay, we got quite a few potions here. Uh, doesn't need it right now. So let's go right ahead and uh, talk to these people. I think one of these guys, yeah, one of these guys do does have a Squirtle. I think I'm doing this out of love. Leave me alone. Huh? In the original version, it was like they they were well, if we were eavesdropping, but we were we weren't eavesdropping. This guy comes out with a weeping doll. So this is a completely different set. And, uh, well, I might as well, let's go with Godzilla, because Godzilla is awesome, right? Right. And, uh, okay, so we better hit this Pokemon quickly, because that growth could prove, uh, could, prove, could be bad, and, uh, wow, didn't take a lot, but, alright, okay, so, we're okay, that was just good luck right there, we gotta finish this guy off right now. Uh, still not enough, but that Vine Whip hits us a little bit hard. Not hard enough because of that burn. And here we go. Burn it or Ember Attack. 
Not enough. Oh, jeez. Come on. Oh, jeez. Alright. Okay, so that burn attack is... Or that burn is actually helping us in the way. Because remember, you get burned, your attack gets lowered just a little bit. Ultra Psycho grows to level 11. That's cool. And uh, guess who grew to level 16? That's right. Godzilla, Godzilla. Heck yes. As you can see. No! This can't be. But it can. Oh my mother of God. So it just takes us one episode. One full episode, and here it is, guys. Our Godzilla finally grows to Mecha Godzilla. I'm just playing. Charmeleon! Which is pretty cool. Pikachu, what do you feel about that? Oh, he's happy about this. He's happy. He's like, oh, I got myself a new friend. Well, let's go ahead and check him out right here. Godzilla, Godzilla. Look at that. Still a fire type Pokemon. Its speed is pretty incredible, and uh, yeah, look at that. It's, it's pretty even stats. Everything else is cool. All right, okay. All right, and, and Ultra Cycle right here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. So, hello, hello. Sorry I teleported. I'm training for love. Don't bother me. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Okay. So here we go, another Pokemon trainer, junior trainer, female, wants to battle, and she's coming out with that Cubone that we've been trying to get. Ultra Psycho. And, uh, well, there is a Pokemon that, uh, you know, Cubone should meet, and that is my Dubasaur. And, uh, Tail Whip doesn't really do much, but, oh wow, it, sounds, it looks like Cubone is speedier than us. Well, it is at level 20, which is hilarious. Didn't recognize that, and wow. That is bad. That is bad. No! God dang it. Okay, so you want to play like that. Oh, God. Good God. Yeah. Didn't expect that to happen. And, uh... Well, there's that headbutt. This Cubone is pretty strong. He is a pretty strong Pokemon. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, alrighty. Ultra Psycho gains experience points and everybody is happy. Except for one Pokemon. And he's like, yeah. And, well, now I understand Pokemon isn't about calculated numbers. Huh. Okay, sorry to do this. I cannot have this. I was actually planning on evolving my Io, my Venus, or my Bulbasaur to Ivysaur in this episode. I might as well do it. Let's go back. You suck. Okay, so back here and I remember you my friend you have that butterfree so here's another battle I've never seen you around are you good yeah I'm pretty good that's those people right there that I beat you know pretty good so here we go book catcher coming out with just one butterfree you know finally a Pokemon trainer that knows how to train and gets Pokemon and uh, I'm gonna go with Godzilla because Godzilla's good Godzilla's awesome it's looking like a beast, and wow! You see, this is the thing that I hate about this Butterfree. That it, oh, it only has, what, one attack move, but the rest is just status effects. You can see the paralysis, poison, uh, or poison, confusion, and just one confusion. Look at that. Wow. So it, this is a little hard just to beat this guy. Come on, hit him! Hit him! There we go. Okay, so we're working. We're working with a little bit of thunder and magic. And uh, no, that that supersonic will not work. Because you are getting hurt. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh my god. Usually it's... Oh, come on. It usually takes me a little longer just to beat a Butterfree. Just a simple Butterfree right here. And that supersonic is not good. Come on. Yes. Normally I would hit myself and... No, the the Pokemon gods love me, and look at that! Ultra Psycho grows to level 13 from 11 to 13. We're close to evolving. That is awesome. Yes, we are too good. And I think it's time to use that last antidote. Hopefully, we don't get poisoned anymore. All right. So let's move on right here. No more using Ultra Psycho's <laughs> a teleport attack just to get to uh, yeah. Okay, so she wants to play. I want to play go. Taking on another junior trainer. She comes out with her Pidgey, and I'm going to be coming out with my Ultra Psycho, because why not? Why not? So let's switch him up straight, straight to Sparky right here. 
pika pika. And that gust attack. Why, 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 why gust attack? Come on. Be cool. And uh, that's the thing I hate about pages the most. They, do, they usually do double attacks on me. But I always get the victory right there. Good, good, good critical hit right there. And coming out with another Pidgey. No, might as well just finish him off. Don't want to get hurt. Look at that. Oh, come on. Jeez. You will not die. You will not die. So, there we go. Another victory. Beats you. And finally, level 20. Our first Pokemon to go to level 20. And it's finally learning Slam. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, You know what? Mm, yeah, I'm not gonna teach a slam because low accuracy, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I get it, guys, but you know, I, I'm good with the moveset that I have right now till uh, level 25 or 26. My priorities right now first is to get Ultra Psycho to evolve, and uh, you know what? Go, I'm going straight to Thrasher right here. Alrighty. And that Sand Attack, it's successful, okay. But we're gonna go with that horn attack. Does not work. Oh god. Come on. Come on. Gotta beat these guys. <laughs> this is just me trying to trying to train my Pokemon up. There we go. Oh yeah. Beats you. And Thrasher becomes another Pokemon at the level 20s. Very very good. Oh yes. It's just like it just didn't work out. That is true. So, I'm going to heal my Pikachu because we need to we need to do that pretty quickly here. And there we go. And uh, let's see. Dubasaur. We got a mission, man. Taking on this dude. Huh? You want to talk to me? No, you came up to me, bro. You came up to me. So here we have another junior trainer coming out with her spear or his spearo. This could prove. Uh, you know what? Switch him out. Yeah, I think it will grow a level just because it just stood out there, right? Let's see. We'll we'll, we'll see. Thunder shock or probably a win. Oh come on! Jesus, I hate fury attack. No, no, come on. Come on, don't be like that. Let's go with the Thunder Shock right here. It's another victory for us. Heck yes. Look at that. Level 15. Alright, we're getting somewhere, and he's coming out with Eradicate. So, this could be the moment that, you know, we've been waiting for. How in the heck does this Eradicate... How is this a level 16 Eradicate? How? I don't know. Leech Seed and that Hyper Fang. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Never mind. God dang it. Okay, so let's go with Ultra Cycle. Might as well just, you know, gain experience points off of this. One Pokemon that really bugs me right now. And, uh. Alrighty. Oh, okay, now you use Quick Attack. And that is a critical hit, but luckily for us, we're zapping him. And let's go with that low kick. Oh, come on! This Pokemon right here is bugging the kick. Oh, God. Here we go. Kick him in the balls. Say goodbye to Raticate. One kick in the balls. And everybody goes level except Dubasaur. I didn't start it! Yeah, you kind of did. You a-hole. I should carry more Pokemon with me for safety. Yeah, you probably should. Jerk. Anywho, here we are in Vermilion City, guys, finally. And uh, you know what? We're going to stop right here. No more teleportations or whatnot. We're going to stay right here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, we will be taking a small tour of Vermilion City. See you guys.